I grew up in Denver. I come from a, a big Irish Catholic family. I told you, I grew up in a black neighborhood and went to a black high school. And one of my friends, a few weeks ago, a kid I'd grown up with, he had a Boston Terrier, and the little Boston Terrier, after my friend had had a soul food party, the little dog had gotten into the old soul food and eaten a bunch of bones and maybe pig knuckles, and, and we were worried that the little dog might have an obstruction. So we put the little Boston up on the table and touched his tummy, and he's like, ooh, didn't know a dog could make that noise, you know? And so I told the kid, there's a 50-year-old high school boy who wants to go to vet school real bad. I said, John, take the dog in the back with me. Let's get an x-ray, see if he's got a piece of bone in there. We take the dog in the back, we get a film, there's no bone, but there's something dense in his stomach. I think we can make him vomit, make him feel better. I tell the kid, hold the dog, I'll give him the medicine, we'll see what he brings up. Kid holds the dog, I give him the medicine, the dog vomits up a completely intact, unchewed pig heart, the valves and all. The kid turns green and faints. He thinks the dog has vomited up his own heart. He gets up off the floor and goes, oh, Doc, we heard him bad. I think that's something he might need. You go, no, honey, you couldn't live without a heart. You got a, it's got a, you got a brilliant future, kid, brilliant. You're going, it's, no. I have a hobby. I identify snakes for the Rocky Mountain Poison Center. And did you know if you're bitten by a poisonous snake in this country, your insurance company won't pay for the antivenin until they know what kind of snake has bitten you? Right? And so, I, I mean, for, for the handsome sum of $50 a snake, I go down for my friend Denver, uh, at Denver uh, General, uh, Dr. Bronstein, and identify snakes. What, you look at me weird, like I could have worse hobbies. <laughs> like my brother, the bowler. <laughs> bowling, 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 bowling. <laughs> but I digress. Earlier this summer, one of our neighbors out on a prairie town in, in, on the prairie in Colorado had been bitten on his bottom on a Friday night at his outhouse by a rattlesnake. They'd bitten on, and so I was sitting home with my mother, smoking a cigar. I give her one a week. <laughs> and the phone rings, it's Bronstein. And I say, Al, you got a snake bite? He goes, I do, can you come down? We got a guy bitten by a snake. Who doesn't want $50? I jump in the car, drive down to Denver General. Now, I gotta tell you, at Denver General, they keep the poison people on the second floor. So I get up to the second floor and I can hear this guy yelling, my whole butt's numb, do something, do something, don't, don't make me wait, give me the antivenin. And I see Al, I go, Al, where's the snake? And he goes, you know, we don't really have the snake. We were hoping maybe you look at his bottom and tell us you thought it was a snake bite. And not for 50 bucks. <laughs> if, if you gotta look at somebody's butt, they gotta pay him more, right? I mean, but we gotta be nice, right? So I look at his bottom, and there were two red marks, and it could have been a snake bite. So I tell Al, it could be a snake bite. We jump in the car, we drive out to this little prairie town. So the sun's just going down. We got the wife on the cell phone. We meet her at the outhouse. We walk up to the outhouse. Al's got a big light in his car that he brings. We get close to the outhouse, and we hear something moving. He shines his light down in the outhouse, and there, in the outhouse, is a chicken. He's been pecked on the bottom by a chicken and drove all the way to Denver screaming about a snake. You, you can't even make that up. It's not a, it's not a joke yet, but a good story. I, I had to tell somebody that. I got back and I told my mother, and she goes, well. I go, well, what? She goes, did you save the chicken? I go, yeah. I didn't leave him in an outhouse.